So this guy's got a warehouse full of stuff that he's trying to get rid of. I got a call from my buddy Chris at the Flip Flop Picker Channel and uh, he's on that kind of a hook me up with this guy. And uh, we're headed over there right now to check out see what he's got. Chris already went by earlier today and uh, he picked up a bunch of good stuff. So now it's my turn. Hopefully there's still some good stuff left. We'll check it out. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we made it guys. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough, uh, kind of show you guys what we're working with, and then I'll show you here at the end everything that we decided to pick up. So here's what we're looking at. All this stuff in here. I mean, tons of stuff, guys. Wow, that's crazy. Look around. Much cassettes. This way. He pretty much said uh, it's a pretty much free for all except for like kitchen stuff, which might be stuff that's in there. But for the most part, he said whatever we want to take, have at it. Look at that. Some cool artwork here. Plates. My goodness, guys. Take it, I couldn't, I think, weighs a ton. see plenty of stuff so we're gonna get digging I'll show you the haul here at the end all right so we did not do too bad um, I'm gonna set this down right quick over here well let me show you real quick um, we've got a few boxes full we're gonna go through all this stuff here in a little bit not too bad well as y'all can see Got a beautiful dining table. But I think we're gonna go ahead, go with some of these. It's a fryer, I think, or air, like an air fryer. pressure cooker ah, you know what I usually don't take stuff like this but I'm gonna take the whole box let me see I'm putting the back of the trailer for now find the other shoe some nice glassware
We'll take the Swiffer and all this stuff, man. That's good right here. I don't know what y'all thinking, but Juan, you got your storage building. I do, I do. But man, I can't uh, fill that sucker up. One load like this, dang. I'll tell you what, if I don't find other stuff, I'll come back for that table. Leather needs to be treated. It's leather backs, but <clears throat> I think they're salvageable. Definitely think they're salvageable. Start moving around on me. Let's look at this one. Same thing. They're leather, they can be treated. here it's a good little chair good little chair all right it's a cool little chair Almost just moving around everywhere. Receiver. It's like a good looking receiver, actually. Oh. All right, guys, well, it was a slow night, uh, to say the least. And um, we're gonna wrap this up tomorrow. Uh, this is gonna be two videos in one. Um, obviously, you've already seen the first part of the video, which is me going to that uh, warehouse full of free stuff. I uh, didn't get a chance to make the haul section yet, but uh, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Not too bad, got some good stuff. And um, here's the stuff that we got from the haul. It's some stuff right in here. Not that. But, um, yeah, this is coming along. Um, I've got some stuff just kind of scattered here for now. Because uh, what I'm going to end up doing, like I said, I'm going to get some shelves to come to here. About that ways. And some other shelves come to here about this ways. So I can start stacking stuff up high. Uh, start stacking stuff there. I haven't started using these shelves yet. I just kind of bring stuff here little by little as the uh, day has been going on. Or the week should i say so we're gonna do that uh, i'll go through this hall we'll go through the hall that we found from the stuff over there i did take y'all's advice i am going to bring a little table i'm going to bring a comfortable chair so i can sit and do this i've got my fan right here i got my extension cord right in there and uh we'll see the rest of this here in a minute like i said not too bad of a night some decent stuff that we'll be able to make a little bit of money on and i get our gas money back and plus you guys get to see another video so hang tight and uh we'll finish this video up here shortly Alrighty folks, here we are. I'm gonna take a look at the stuff that we found last night. I'm not gonna spend too much on the stuff that we found last night. Mainly because you guys got a pretty good look at it all. There's a couple things in some of these boxes that I'll go through just so you guys can see them. But otherwise, what I really wanna focus on is the stuff that we found at the warehouse. And uh, just a heads up, uh, three things I want y'all to remember, okay? 
three things. Uh, first, I'm gonna put a video uh, card right up here. You should be able to see the little thing that pops up. It's gonna direct you to Chris's channel because he also went to this same uh, warehouse and got a bunch of stuff that I don't, I don't even know what he got because he was there before me. So go check out his video to see what other stuff he got. Um, and I'm sure there's a bunch of cool stuff. Go check out the video, click on that card. And if you missed it, go, go to the description of the video and you will see a link to that video, okay? Second thing, I'm gonna announce the winner. Yes, we're gonna announce the winner to the latest competition for this cute little Betsy Johnson compact mirror. Remember, you're supposed to have commented, I like cats or I love cats or something along with the cats. So I'm just gonna search for the word cats using um, an automated uh, selector that's gonna pick out the word cats from all the comments and whoever it, it wins, I'll put it not only in, I'll try to find your comment in the original video, but I'm gonna also uh, pin your name. Try to try to figure out a way to pin you uh, in this video. So you're gonna have to get with me, you're gonna have to email me. I'll put the my email address inside that comment and you'll have to um, email me so I can get your address and all this stuff. I'm not gonna charge you for shipping, I'm gonna pay for shipping myself. Um, last thing, okay, third thing. Okay, so good luck to whoever wins this. You'll see here shortly, right after this section. The third thing is I'm gonna have another contest. I'm gonna try to maybe do one, maybe one a week, I don't know. We'll see if you guys, this one was awesome. You guys got really into the video. You guys really liked all the content. I got a lot of comments, guys. A lot of comments for uh, this video. So for my next contest, what I'm going to give away is this cute little coach purse. I know you guys saw it. it's a little coach wallet. Okay. Um, I, I believe it's authentic. It looks to be authentic. Um, it's this cute little pink leather coach wallet. It is super clean inside guys. Okay. It's super clean. Nothing wrong with it. As you can see, really nice wallet. All right, the zippers work really, really good. Okay, y'all can see that there, really good condition. And I'm gonna throw, go ahead and put it inside this little box right here. The box is not in great condition, but uh, it'll make it easier for me to ship. And uh, it'll be right here. Now, I didn't make a stipulation for the last one. Um, this one here, I am gonna ask that you guys are subscribed, okay? Um, make sure that you're subscribed. Uh, I can tell, I can find you and see if you're subscribed or not, so no fibbing. And uh, let's see what we're gonna put. Just write any sentence that says, like, I want the coach, or something with the word coach, C-O-A-C-H. Any comment with the word coach in it, and I'll look for that word, and whoever wins that drawing is gonna get this pretty little pink, I believe truly it's the genuine authentic coach wallet so y'all do what you got to do leave it in the comments and good luck to whoever wins and congratulations to whoever is going to win the Betsy Johnson uh, compact all right now let's start with these rocking chairs right here they're leather they're real dried up I'm gonna take that into account when I sell these I'm not gonna ask a lot because um, someone's gonna have to restore the leather uh, restore all this, paint them all up again, and that's going to require a lot of work. But someone might want to do it, and um, I'm thinking if I got maybe ten dollars a chair, uh, that would be fair for both parties. What do y'all think? For the restoration process, I think it's worth it. Uh, you got this. This is a unique kind of chair. I don't know what kind of chair this is called, but uh, it reminds me like a like a guitar. You know the strings of guitar. It definitely looks like it's um, mid-century modern, maybe, with those little legs at the bottom. Very unique chair. I usually don't pick up chairs, you know, well, you wouldn't believe it based on all the chairs that I got. But, like, single chairs like this, just because they're kind of hard to get rid of. But someone can really reupholster this. Um, this is wood. You know, sand this down, repaint it, and redo this thing, make it look really nice. So, you got that there. Got this pressure cooker. Uh, no reason to believe why it wouldn't work. Um, cords there. 
got this Onkyo receiver. That's a good receiver. What I'm thinking about doing is keeping a receiver here uh, so I can test out equipment like this because I, I bought these, uh, I, I bought these, uh, uh, what's it called, speakers. Uh, the lady who sold me all these shelves, see, I got some shelves right there. I'm going to start putting them up over here in the next couple of days. And I'm going to get some more shelves from her to, to put about halfway here and halfway there, wrap them around. But these Technics um, uh, speakers, they're floor speakers, they're really good condition. She said that they never even used them. Her husband bought them, put them away. He was going to sell them, never did. And then you got these JBL speakers. They're kind of turned around the other way so you can't see them. But I could put pictures right here of uh, what they look like and also comps of what they sell for. I was paid 50 bucks for all of them. And I'm going to easily make four, if not five times my money on those. This, that was a really good buy. She made the offer 50 and I took it. All right. So you got that little rocking chair down there. You guys remember that one? Talked about this. One cool find that I liked was this little Swiffer, sweeper. And um, it actually had a bunch of... Uh, what's called cleaning uh, stuff with it so inside these boxes just so you guys get an idea we got this guy right here i think it's a, a like a water purifier maybe yeah brita brita so you got the water purifier you got some, some baking wire there some hands another one there here's another swiffer wet jet uh, cleaning thing got a bag full of knives and forks and uh these are actually really nice they're kind of they're real big they're, they look real real straight real heavy so i'll look at these let's see what kind of get out here let's see if i can see what kind of brand these are sometimes these could be worth a lot of money pioneer woman they're stainless steel so i don't think they're going to be really expensive but still, it's, I mean, they're, they're, they're good. They're good, solid utensils there. You got the air fryer here. I'll plug all this stuff in, make sure it works. Let's see, on this side, what did you have over here? We only had one shoe, unfortunately. I looked for the other one, but I didn't see it, so we'll just end up throwing that away. Got this little guy here. It spins around. I mean, you could put this in the middle of your table. It's kind of like, what do you call it, like a Lazy Susan? And maybe put, like, you know some napkins or salt shaker or you know stuff like that or you could even put this in your pantry and uh you know like if you want to put like different bottles and stuff in there and uh, instead of having to move stuff around just spin this around and get to it a lot easier some more swiffer stuff here uh let's take a look what else we got got this bowl it's chipped you got oh this is kind of a nice little casserole dish It's got this blue casserole. Who is it? Is it Pyrex? Anchor Ovenware. Anchor Ovenware. You got that, like a pasta bowl down there. Really nice. You got this little bouquet of flowers. A little pink flamingo vase. Let's see. This, I think this is the last box right here. All right, this is the last box here. Oh yeah, there's some more dishes here. I'll probably just take these to Lennox. Oh, look at that, little Lennox elephant. I didn't even see that. I'm gonna take these to the booth. Lennox dolphins. And Lennox swan. I'm gonna take these right now. And uh, I'm probably going to put these at the booth. I don't know. How much are these worth? I don't even know how much these are worth. But they're real cute. Look at that. I like the elephant. I'll see if Iris likes these. Sometimes she likes little... She's always liked dolphins. So, those are kind of cute. We'll definitely uh, check those out. And the rest of the stuff is probably be garage sale smash oh, that was like this crystal yeah okay so nothing spectacular here all right let me get situated here and i'm gonna show you guys the stuff that i found 
at the other place. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to kind of go through this stuff uh, without having to take out absolutely everything because it's gonna be kind of hard. Um, this kind of stuff they had though, they had a really nice bowl here. You just don't pick up stuff like this, but this is a nice one, uh, made in Italy. And that protecting it there. There's a bunch of uh, watermelon decorations. So I picked some of that stuff up there. That'll sell. It's made of like some kind of paper mache, I think. It's very light. Uh, I had a couple of these really nice uh, little vases there. Don't know the brands, don't know the make on them. It says U1505. You got this one here. And you also have that one there. They like said, don't see any markings on them. But those are do good at the booth. There's a bunch of these little bowls. Uh, they're all the same. Uh, made in Mexico. A lot of people like this Mexican pottery stuff. Really nice stuff there. Um, cute little vase with the with the parrot on it. This one's from Haiti. And I was just grabbing stuff and just throwing it in here as much as I could. I, and the guy was really, really cool about just me just taking whatever. Uh, there's probably more I could have taken, but, you know, it, it, it takes a long time to go through all this stuff. A bunch of these little Halloween lanterns. Uh, here's another watermelon decor. I don't know what this would be for. Maybe just for, I don't know. Maybe just use a little vase or something. Uh, let's see. A bunch of little brass stuff. I think most of it's in another place. Little coins, like a little cigarette holder. Um, I got some staplers for me to keep. I like these because they're real small um, and easy to. I got two of them there, and there's a bunch of staples in here too. This guy's here is kind of nice. Do not overwind. I'm not sure if this is anything particularly special or not. I'd have to look it up to do some research, but it looks like a little little guy uh, maybe polishing up some boots there. It plays a little song. Oh, I can't know. I can't hear it. Okay, let's see. What else we have in here? Oh, I found this nice little little box. It's missing the liner inside, but it's still a nice little box. I'll put this at the booth. Get a couple bucks for that. Uh, man, a lot of this vintage electronic stuff is actually pretty good. And people pay for it. Got this uh, electro electrolysis. I guess like a hair removal kind of thing. Yeah, removes unwanted hair forever. And a lot of this old vintage stuff does really well. So you got that one. Um, bottle tops. Oh, this is a game. It's called Bottle Tops. Uh, I'm not going to take it out. Kind of windy here i just don't want this to blow over let's see if i can find a good spot yeah that looks like a safe spot so i'll take out these bowls instead of we're going to take everything out but i might take some of it out this is like i think like for curling hair yeah hair curlers again vintage stuff it's just some people they they like their old stuff that's always worked for them and it breaks down so they're always you know they're willing to pay to get a new one that's old stock got these huge bananas i don't know what they're for but they've got bolts coming out the bottom i don't know if they were i have no idea but there's two of these let's see here's the staples real pretty red vase i mean a uh, vase a uh, little, little jar didn't see any name on it so if y'all if y'all see this and y'all recognize it it says made in taiwan but that sticker could have been put on from something else but it's a very pretty ruby ruby red uh a little jar there some vintage ping pong paddles and this clay little vase there all right on to the next section of stuff and this box was a pumpkin blow up it's, it says halloween pumpkin blow up I'll also put these guys in here. It says uh, mini micro go around. 
I don't know. I'll, I'll think someone will pay for these. You know. Hopefully they work. Wine. Oh, maybe they're supposed to have. Looks like they might not work. Well, anyways, it was free. So I'm gonna plug this guy in to see if it works. Um, in here, oh yeah. This guy had a lot of Halloween decorations, a lot of Christmas decorations. There's a bunch of these bags right here. These bags are great. These are great to go to like, um, you know, like estate sales or, uh, you know, those, those draw church rummage cells. These are great because they fold up to nothing and they hold a lot. So those about four or five of these and I grabbed all of them. You see, this is a bigger one here. And then here, there's two jars like this. They're red, uh, this uh, red. They're these blue jars. They have a number two on the bottom. I don't know what brand they are or anything like that. Um, I guess these are for like punch. They're threaded on top. So there's a cap that you should be able to put on. Didn't come with anything like that. But I like the color on these. They're really nice. Remind me of some kind of, you know, maybe you put like some fruit punch in here, maybe some lemonade. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe you'd use it to can something. I, I don't know. Maybe a canning jar. Y'all let me know. Is this a canning jar? Maybe a canning jar. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm answering my own questions here. So I'm going to put that back in here. There's two of them in here like that. I put this in here to separate them. So they don't bang up. I thought this was such a neat little decoration. You know, I thought it was really cool. So I picked him up. Matter of fact, I'm going to plug him in right now to see if he works. Here's my power cord that goes right over there. So I'm so glad, you know, this space has got power like that, which is really nice. And I've already made a trip here at the night. This light is very bright. It works perfect. Does this work? No, I'll bet you anything. All it needs is just a new bulb. Yeah, I bet you just a new bulb. But that's a cute little guy. I like, he's like pulling his mouth apart. You know, I don't like a lot. I used to have a lot of Halloween decorations, but we just kind of got out of it. My daughter, my, my son, they grew out of it and we just don't decorate a lot anymore. But I like this guy. He's kind of cute, so I'm going to keep him. Uh, that's it for this box. There's also this motor. This is a motor for... Let me see. It was, it was sealed. It was, it was sealed like this, brand new. Ask the guy if you wanted it. It says Whirlpool. I don't see a part number or anything like that but it's it's a brand new motor it's a big motor too so i'm thinking it's for like a maybe a washing washing dryer or variable speed i guess i'll look it up here i'll look at the model number j 52 hr 0107 i'll look it up see what it's for induction motor for an auto washer only so what's for a washer brand new Never been used. Even if you scrap this, there's just a ton of copper in there. But being that it's brand new, it's gonna have more value selling it as a, as a brand new motor. So I asked him if he could fucking have it. He said he didn't want it. That's a great score right there for me. And last in this little pile was this uh, little JVC tape deck. These little tape decks sell really well. A lot of people like to rebuild their stereo systems from back in the days, especially like the 80s and 70s. And uh, this one might be from the 90s, but a lot of people like this one because you can play and record, you know, so this is a popular one there. I already tried it, it plays, it works, the rewind, everything works on these things. So it's, it's, a, it's a good working system and I'm probably going to probably gonna sell this one too, or I might keep it here to test stuff out. So I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet, but that's something that I found also that's really cool. Oh no, well I guess that answers the question about this guy. Uh, it's a little bit windy here and uh, you're supposed to put some ground stakes in there to kind of help it prop it up and, uh, and help tie this down but this sucker works and it's, it's inflated fully it's just real windy out here right now and uh, yeah once I get some ground stakes put in there this sucker was gonna be nice look at that it's how tall is this guy he's about 10 feet tall I like that All right, so here's the next box of stuff we're gonna go through okay so here was a bunch of that watermelon stuff you got this tray 
you got some salt and pepper shakers you see here you got a bunch of coasters a bunch of napkin ring holders uh, this is going to be a little bit harder to go through. Um, we got another one of these little little bowls or dishes or whatever. That one's a little bit rougher condition. Got this guy here, Sunbeam. It's a baking dish by Sunbeam. It's vintage. It looks nice. Um, <laughs> cute little piggy bank made out of look paint, made to paint painted like a watermelon. Some VHS tapes that are brand new, never been used. And uh, I think I'm gonna go put that guy away. All right, back to this stuff here. Set some more of these guys. A lot of this. Oh man, I broke. I don't know what broke out of here. We'll find out here in a minute. Really cool. Uh, candle holders sun and the moon some wax dried up on it i'll get this wax taken off these will look real nice at the booth that's an easy sell some more of these bags i was telling you about um i got these real nice salt paper shakers i don't know if these are made in japan or not or or what but they're very pretty as well as this really nice green vase didn't see any markings on it but y'all tell me, do y'all recognize this guy? It's a real pretty vase. Got that guy there. What else do we have? These little guys, I don't know what they're for. What are these for? They're like little baskets. Made in the Philippines. A bunch of those. Um, Looks like a flute made out of some kind of pottery or clay. Doesn't work. Let me see. Oh, it does work. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Creepy hand. And then uh, there's a bunch of brass candle stick holders in here. This is cute. You just kind of hang this as decoration. I still don't know where this piece broke off of it. I can't figure it out. It was a watermelon. Hmm. Anyways, so there's a bunch of little brass candle stuff. Maple leaf. candles these are real cute all this stuff is so really easily get all this stuff out of here and put it in here I really wish I knew what this came off of because I can't figure it out not him this is such a cute little guy made in Mexico and these are the ones that you know you fill it up and once you break it that's it there's no replugging it up all right, there was a bunch of these Patron bottles that uh, I can't figure out which control controls each one of these lights, but you see how it lights up? Change the colors. Oh, there we go, that turned them off. But they work, there's a bunch of them down here and they're, I don't know, they're all kind of strung together. So I might kind of spread these out, take a picture, just sell them all. Someone wants to use them, I don't know kind of neat this guy i couldn't believe this i asked him if he's sure he's getting rid of this it's a four wheel hose cart these guys are expensive brand new never been opened never been taken out of the box 3.99 baby 3.99 and lastly what do we have we got this undead granny it's a life-size animated decor three rotating sounds moves at the waist and then you got this smoldering zombie. So you got some more Halloween decorations. Uh, oh, and uh, let's see. He also has this guy full of more little ghoulish little Halloween decorations. A 
bunch of those. Uh, there's probably like about eight of them in there. And those guys sell for like $20 brand new. So if I got, I don't know, someone giving 50 bucks for all eight of them, I'd, I'd be happy with that, 60 bucks. And anything else? No, I think that's it, guys. That's it. All right, so hang tight, because right after this, we're going to pick the winner of the Betsy Johnson Compact. Uh, do me a favor, congratulate the winner, because, you know, we all show love around here on this video. Um, you know, we might not have won this time, but I'm going to try to do this more often, maybe once a week. Hopefully, if I can find something cool that's small, that's easy to ship, I'll do this once a week. Um, if, as long as I get a lot of participation, because that's, that's the key thing. I want to I see participation. I want to see you guys uh, congratulating each other for winning. And uh, yeah, the next, the next giveaway is going to be the coach. Remember, just type any sentence with the word coach, C-O-A-C-H, and uh, I'll look it up by that keyword, and I'll pick a winner for that coach next week. But remember, you got to be subscribed, guys, okay? And please be in the U.S. because I don't know how shipping works to ship internationally. Um, that might be tricky. I'm not sure. I don't ever ship internationally. So if you're U.S., I prefer it. Um, otherwise, we can figure it out. But, yeah, be subscribed to win that coach, okay, guys? And uh, we're going to go to the winner now. All right, guys. So here we're going to go and pick the winner. So we're going to go to my YouTube channel. I'm going to copy this link here. That's for the video for the cat. Go back up here. I'm gonna paste the link here so you can see everything is live. Get the video. We are gonna pick for the word cats. Type it in here. Here's all the comments with the word cats in it. 198. Pick a winner. Patricia Anderson. It says, do I love cats? I only have three of them. Pink is my favorite color. So congratulations, Patricia Anderson. Everybody go ahead and uh, like this comment that I'm going to post down here to congratulate Patricia for winning the Betsy Johnson Compact. And thanks for everybody for participating in this contest. All right, guys. Well, I just want to thank y'all for uh, tuning in. It's gotten late in the day. And, um, man, I think this is kind of a cool video. You know, we've got two different kinds of picking done. Um, got the contest winner. How exciting is that? And also uh, a new contest going. So you guys should have already gotten the directions. And I hope you guys are having fun with that. Uh, I, th I think I'm going to try to do this every now and then. I don't know if I can do it every week. It just depends how busy I am. But I'm going to try to do it more often. So you guys leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. See if this is cool or not. And of course, um, just thank y'all guys from the bottom of my heart for, uh, for the love and support that you guys have been giving me. Um, some of y'all for a very long time. And for those who are just new, uh, thank y'all for, for coming in and, and welcome. And uh, we'll leave y'all with this. Father, we just want to thank you, Lord, for the many blessings, little Father. Uh, thank you for opening doors, uh, for, for introducing us to people, Father, that are wanting to be a blessing to us and allowing me to be a blessing to other people, Father. I just thank you for just the abundance of love, Father, for mercy, um, for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ, Father. I just want to thank you, Father, for um, just giving me this opportunity to go out there and find this stuff. Uh, make these videos and um, thank you for my uh, for the viewers father for the subscribers for those who like the videos for those who comment uh, for those who support the channel i just want to thank you for them father i just ask that you would reach you know through the channels of youtube lord and that you would touch each individual person who is uh who's watching right now father um that you place a seed in their heart father to want to get them know, to know you uh for them to want to know what it is to have a relationship with you father and for those who already do, Father, that you would renew their strength uh, in you, that you would renew their faith in you, and that you would grow their faith stronger and longer than uh, anything they've ever imagined. I just ask you, Lord, that you would put your hands on those who are sick, uh, that you would heal their, their, their wounds their, and mend their hearts and their souls, Father, whatever is ailing them. Uh, I ask that you would bring peace to those who are, who are lonely, Father, who, who may not... Uh, be doing well right now, Father. Right now, it is a hard time right now, and, uh, and a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff, and I would just ask that you put your hands on those people, Father, let them know that they're not alone, that they do have uh, you, they have us, Father, as a family here through YouTube, and that um, that they're loved, they're important, 
and, uh, and that they matter. I just ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, and uh, the people said, Amen. So, hope you guys received the message. Like always, hope you guys uh, received the blessing. Um, if you want to tune in um, to the church that I go to, it's called New Hope Church. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. They put live videos every Sunday of service. And uh, you kind of be there watching um, church service with the uh, Texan Picker. So I'll leave the link in the description. It'll say New Hope. I think it's New Hope church.tv i forget what it is but i'll put the link down down in the description they do a lot of videos and you can go watch previous uh streamings uh, that they've had a lot of good stuff there so that being said thank you so much for watching until next time peace